1450 meters, a quick load and away in racing. A nice start for them here. Dakota Cat and Rugger Lover with the first two to react from the start. Behind that is uh, Woodland Glade, got away to a nice start, two races up in third. Shulpa's Moon wider out in the track. Sigrid Swing is racing wide, so to Ivy League. Elysia's Love is towards the inside with Mocker Mockaroon. Then Play With Fire gives them about seven lengths start when they turn for home. Ivy League is just uh, racing awkwardly. And right at the back is Let's Go Now, who settled in under Gavin Lorena, 10 lengths off the leader as they bound for home now, heading down towards the 800-meter marker. Dakota Cat, the leader with Shilpa's Moon. They cut out the gallop here. Raga Love is third, then came Woodland Glade, back and forth, Maka Maka Rune and Sigrid Swing, then Elysia's Love, six, seven lengths to track down, play with fire. Ivy League is more settled, and a long way back to Let's Go Now, who is the trailer, a long way off the leader. As they head down with 500 to go, Dakota Cat gives a bit of a kick by two lengths here. From Rugger Lover in second, Maka Makaroon, Shulpa's Moon on the outside, Woodland Glade. Down the inside, Elysia's Love. Further back to play with fire, 250 to go. Dakota Cat still leads it. Maka Makaroon emerges as a massive danger down the inside. Shulpa's Moon's also running on play with fire. Ivy League is coming out the back quickly. It's Maka Makaroon, but Ivy League is finishing quickly on the outside. And Ivy League has got there from play with fire Mocha Mokaroon third and Woodland Glade fourth the race changed complexion very quickly the last 200 just when it looked like Mocha Mokaroon had come to tackle Dakota Cat with 150 to go it's still Dakota Cat who now starts to hang badly down the inside Mocha Mokaroon Woodland Glade Shulpa's Moon look at play with fire between runners and Ivy League does the best of all on the stand side this is also owned by Gerald Callal and Mr. Thaver it's a good win for Ivy League and only her third start she'll come on to win it from play with fire Mocha Mokaroon and Woodland Glade a good finish to the running a race too RV League wins race number two. Samanga Kamala is added again. Boran Bortis is added again. Well done to Lance Michael, to Gerald Khalil, and Mr. Thaver, Breda at Ridgemont Highlands. And Samanga, the first half of the race was actually hard to watch because she did not travel. Um, you, you're known for your strength and a finish, but you had to be strong at the start as well. <laughs> yes, uh, obviously. Uh, I think being the first time uh, around the band in a race because uh, Mr. Bortis felt that at home, she does work around the band and she's sort of like handled Bubu quite well. But obviously now we jump out and we, we immediately race pace and uh, if she, she is green, she will battle to, uh, to, to put her legs out on the, the band. And uh, I did have a hard time. I uh, had to tap it down the shoulder to about the 1,200 already. Coming to the 1,000 already, I felt, you know, uh, the, the, there was actually nothing for me to follow, so I decided let me rather angle her out and uh, let her actually s like see a clear run, and then hopefully she can come and run them down because she's been green and then try and run her behind horses. I'm never get, gonna get that right, so um, I think the plan worked. And a uh, big thanks uh, to Mr. Potters, big thanks uh, to Mr. Michaels, and uh, again, you know, uh, he's, he's a nice supporter for Mr. Potters, and uh, if we can get him some more horses, you know, uh, Mr. Potters. As I said before, please, when I wrote this really first time out, he, he, needs, uh, he needs a bit of support and I was just trying to ride the best race I can. And now, now back again, ask me, please, uh, you know, do everything you can to just bring this one for me. And, uh, you know, that's what we're here for when uh, she's home and I hope uh, he gets the support. She's clearly got something about her, but when is she going to become a racehorse? What is she looking for? Is she looking for blinkers? Is she looking for ground? Is she just waiting for experience? What do you think is going to make her tick? You know, I think experience it does it in a world of good, you know. Uh, uh, a couple of races are in the band, and uh, just to maybe she has a, a good draw where they can just guide her around, you know. And from there, she will learn to obviously the run for the fence and, uh, you know, keeping a straight course. Um, you know, it's, uh, it takes a lot, but uh, I hope Mr. Boros find a nice race for her and not to be hard on her and let her just learn and uh, come on. How's the rest of your day looking? Um, obviously, uh, the chance ride the Mabonang in the last, uh, that's why you liked it on that day. So I think, uh, yeah, you, this should be my, my, my next best. With others, I'm trying my best. Thanks, Bling. Thanks, big thanks again, Mr. Potters, uh, to the grooms, you know, that do the hard work behind the scenes, and uh, also to the owners, big thanks. And uh, to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine, Volkhoba Strift, big well done to them. And uh, again, to the Bling fans. Whoop, whoop.
Well done to Bling. Baron Boots has done his own interview with Brandon. Now you can do the, the official one. Um, what was your thinking five days apart from run one to run two? You know, this was very, very dumb. Um, and uh, you still had the 100,000 bonus checks for two-year-olds. I don't know if they're still alive. No, they're not. Sorry. Uh, well, bad luck to us. So the idea was to get it clever enough. And uh, I also think it's quite decent. You know, Lance Michael owns it. I'd love to have more of him in our stable. Uh, I must say well done to... Gerald, Khalil, Quinton, Thaver. But uh, first time we settled it, it fly jumped. I mean, it was so dumb, like it hadn't been broken in. And I thought, okay, leave it in for five days later. Let's get it clever, and then we pick the right race. Um, I think from Adver Road last time, he came back and he said to me, this horse needs further. So I put over it the 1450 today. And you know, the, the juvenile races are hard to find. They're not all over the place. I mean, uh, they only come few and far apart. But we had the 10 drawn, now what do we do? So we sacrificed the one to help the other. I mean, you must give me your number, and next time I hear upstairs you talk about Silpa's Moon, I can send you a message and say, listen, boy, other way around. But uh, Please do, because the transparency is, no, is vital. If, if I had your number, I would have done that. Um, the thing is, what do you do? From a 10 draw, this is the better horse. Yes. Silpa's Moon better over 16. There's a race coming up in two weeks' time over 16. So let her run in the best race, suitable race for her. Today, you've got no chance. I mean, if you're a 16 meter middle horse, how are you going to quicken from behind, from a bad draw? So, I mean, kill the front runners and let's um, help uh, Ivy League today and next time it's your turn. I see you scratch Shilpa's Moon from that mile race on Thursday, so I'm waiting for the next yeah. one um, that comes up. But just regard with regard to today in Ivy League, what were you thinking through the first 200 metres? Oh, no, here we go again. Yeah. Well, obviously, they, they weren't going as hard, came out with a bit of speed. The reason why I scratched out to those two for next week is that it's an older horse race, it's not for two-year-olds, and they both two-year-olds. But the first bit, I mean, obviously, Samanga knows that we're going to try and heat up the pace for him. So he was fighting it. I mean, the horse never took the turn. You can see it's still very green. And, uh, well, let's hope uh, the penny drops somewhere along the line. And I think it could be a nice horse in, in the making. How does the rest of your day look? Captain Dizzy, I don't think all cut and dry. Base I'll add in the pick six, back down in class. Uh, Captain Dizzy's race, I'll say, add the two, nine and ten. I don't think uh, the seven pound penalty is a bit odd. Thanks for all the, all the info. You've come with pearls today. Well done, Barrett. Thank you, sir. Another win for Bar and uh, let's just get the uh, groom's prize. Well done to Daniel, who is the winning groom. And uh, he was Nelson in race one, he's Daniel in race two. Very well done. Thank you very much to World Sports betting the 1500 Rand going the way of Daniel. So that's race number two. That was nearly an almighty boil over with Play With Fire and Mocha Macaroon running second and third. And fourth goes the way of number 11, Woodland Lay. The pick six starts in race number three. Let's get involved.